crack a lackin' homies. Sorry, I had my mic right above my head there. So if you kind of heard me and then you kind of heard the mic go, it meant that I wasn't talking into the mic. Yeah, that was noobish, kind of. <laughs> um, it's crack a lackin', guys. Jahazy here. I am. Oh, I'm stretching. I'm just stretching. <laughs> um. What you have here is some gameplay from hmm, a little while ago, I believe. Uh, it, was, it was quite some time ago, but uh figured why not throw it up here. Uh, inning score was 35-5, and five, so that's, uh, that's more than a 5-1 to one KD. I, I vouched to say that I will post every f above 5-1 to one KD match. Uh, that I've had a Mono Warfare 2, but I, I think I might be changing that to 7 to 1. So if it's not above 7 to 1, or it's not above 70, or it's not above 100, then I'm not posting it. I don't know. Maybe it might change, but I guess for now, that's what it's going to stand up. Um, maybe, but, well, I do have a bunch of like 5 to 1 KD matches um, in my hard drive that I'm going to commentate all over right now because I actually need the hard drive, hard drive space because I've been playing a lot of StarCraft 2 lately and uh, I don't know about you guys but if you ever played StarCraft 2 you know how epic that game is and uh, it's a shame that Modern Warfare 2 couldn't have uh, made such an epic game that could, it could match StarCraft 2 but uh, for all hardcore PC players out there y'all know what I'm talking about because um, StarCraft is actually a pretty epic game on the PC. I, I don't even know if it's on console, so... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned for more uh, StarCraft 2 videos if you're uh, if you're interested in that. But don't worry, I won't abandon my Warfare 2. I have, I have about 10 games right now on my hard drive that need to be commentated. Yeah, and they're all above 5 to 1. Some of them are insane. Some of them are just barely above 5 to 1. But regardless, it's all fun. All fun games. Yeah, so moving on. <laughs> Um, let's talk a little bit about, uh, how Machinima has, uh, posted up a few of my videos. They posted up my 107 and 5, which you guys may have seen before, because I did a dual commentary with Fisticuffs on it. Uh, he's, uh, he's another, uh, popular, uh, Machinima director. He's, uh, he's actually pretty cool because, um, he, he's like, uh, He's like one of the guys that, he's one of the first Machinima guys that I work with other than V Punisher. So, that was pretty cool. Um, let's see. Now, with the ACR, let's talk a little bit about uh, strategies that I might use on these. I think right over here I poke my head out and get sniped. Which is kind of uh, retarded because... I really wanted to get the Chopper Gunner. I, I, I actually don't remember because this was quite a while ago. Yeah, I get pegged off right here. Yeah, okay. This was actually over a week ago. I, I'm surprised I remembered that exact part. That's kind of weird. It's kind of scary also. <laughs> um, with the ACR, guys, remember that it does have a nice long range. The rate of fire is decent, but the damage is not very high, but the accuracy is insane. So... Always try and engage people at medium to long range because close range you're gonna you're gonna hit them a couple of times you're gonna hear t -t 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 -t. you're gonna hear a hit markers but then uh, you're not gonna kill them because it's such a weak gun it's it's weak sauce basically <laughs> it is weak sauce it is a uh, it is a uh, very weak sauce. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh yeah, I went to uh, eat some Chinese food and uh, I was uh, I was talking to the guy at uh, at Win Win. It's called Win Win, and he's like, uh, I'm ch I'm trying to ask him what like certain dishes are, and he's like, Oh, well, this uh, is um, sweet and sour salsa, and he just kept on saying it like kept on saying sauce like salsa. So whenever I say salsa, I say it like him. I say salsa. I just, it's just stuck with me, and I think it's hilarious. So <laughs> hopefully you guys uh, adapt to that because uh, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Let's see what I get here. Double. I know it's a triple. Yes. Wow. How do I remember that? That's insane. Um, I just, I, oh, that's insane. That's crazy. Um, let's see. 
Um, I try and relax when I play with the ACR because the ACR, you're not like being aggressive with the ACR. You're not gonna get a good gameplay. Like you're gonna get like one out of like ten gameplays is gonna be good if you're really aggressive with the ACR because the ACR is a defensive weapon in this game. But like I like I have a a list of uh, of of guns that are are this and this and this like defensive offensive balance long range close range only long range only close range and okay the way that i explain acr is like a medium to long range defensive uh slow pace weapon that's that's just like that's just the way that i describe it if you take all those into context like and play like that whenever you use the acr you'll you'll basically be successful every round because that's that's the best that i've mapped out this gun with uh and you know, maybe you guys could also try this technique out with it and see how it goes. And uh, d feel free to come back to this uh, video after you've done that and uh, tell me how you've done in the comment section. That would be pretty sweet because, let's see, using the ACR is kind of fun if you ask me because I used to use the ACR a lot way back in the day and then it's like it's good to go back to the ACR once in a while because it's just it's just I don't know it's got a satisfying feeling to, to play with it it's just a really it's not an annoying gun like it's not like a FAL which I'm trying to do like a crazy FAL video on Machinima um, like over a certain amount of kills with the FAL because I, I doubt anybody ever posts with the FAL I just think it's a really underplayed gun and if you play with it similarly, my phone's ringing. If you play with the ACR like similarly, like you play with the FAL, then like you'll be successful because those guns are just, they're just uh they're mapped out the same way. And I don't even know where that guy came from. But he's sitting there with dual rangers. Like, come on, the hell is that? Who sits on the floor with dual rangers, bumbleclat? And I don't even get the kill. That's ridiculous. Um, let's see. The game's yeah winding down. Like we basically we spawn trapped them for the good majority of the match, like three quarters of it, and then they kind of swung back in and, and captured one point, and then then we quickly captured it back. It's, this game was very lopsided, if you ask me. Uh, I still think it was a quite entertaining though, and that was a fail knife, even though that wasn't an enemy. That was a double fail knife then. <laughs> Uh, I knew that we were going to win this, so I'm just chilling up on their spawn to see what else I could do, and, uh, pretty sure I get a nade, and then, yeah, just, just relax, relax in the spawn, setting up on this house, oh yeah, I try and peg this guy off with the A12, but the range is just, just too short, and it just dissipates. <laughs> My bullets just dissipate throughout the atmosphere. I find that kind of ridiculous that the, the bullets just, they just collapse at a certain range. Like, if you're an inch away from somebody, like, too far out of your range, you, you don't kill them. I just think that's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, final score is 35 and 3. Oh, sorry, uh, not 35 and 5. It's 35 and 3. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this match. And uh, don't forget to comment, uh, thumb this video up, and share this with all your buddies. And tell them... Jahazy sent you, and uh, tell them to watch my Machinima videos as well, because that shit is amazing when you guys watch that, alright? I'll uh, talk to y'all later. Peace.